You are not going to believe this. It finally showed up. It came. It's a bag and there's something actually in it. For those of you who aren't tracking, I started by wanting a Viking lift tool or Viking arm, so I ordered one on Amazon. I ordered this one. Day later, I ordered one from maskaproducts.com. This one. So, chain of events, I ordered this one. Day later, ordered this one. This is the one that showed up from Masca. This is the official Viking arm licensed product. Solid, heavy duty product. Actually came in decent packaging. Just about when I was ready to get up on, give up on it, these two Viking arms showed up. If you didn't see the other video, here's what it was. Two Cowlings 4 Mavic Air drones, so two drone parts. On top of that, they're 3D printed. These aren't even from DJI. They sent me knockoff parts, not even the knockoff part they were supposed to. So come on, really? But this one, after that one, I ordered another one. I'm just glad for punishment, I know, but I wanted to test something against this beefy tool. So this one actually sounds like there's something in there. Um, there's the package is kind of falling apart. Um, there's a something stamped and welded. So this appears to possibly be the bottom foot, but why is that welded unless it's not supposed to come off? I, I don't know. Let's let's get in here and see what we got. All right. Oh, wow. I said we were going to break something, and you know what? It arrived broken. So that's welded on there, or was. And if you can see this, I'm going to try and bring this in closely. Where this was welded... This is just a thin piece of tube stock. Can you see all the way through? Oh yeah. This is solid stock. This is solid stock. Screwed in, built to last. The weight difference on this thing, these things, this weighs about three times as much as this thing does. So, all right. This couldn't even handle the shipping from China. Oh, wow, that is just, that is janky. Wow, but it, a heck of a lot better than the, uh, the Mavic Air Cow, the Mavic Cowlings I got. It actually does function up and does function down. Now, the picture that I ordered this from, the picture on Amazon was this tool. Is there any mistaking? this for that they used the official viking arm in their advertising that is 100 percent scam right there so that get that piece of broken garbage out of the way Let's see if this one survived the all right this one looks like it survived still just a welded tube let's see if we can lift okay we have mechanical function All right, and for depress, it goes up and down. The official patented Viking arm, this actually has a fast release or slow release lever. Let me go up with this. It's got a lever for just releasing a little bit and a lever for full release. This has one single lever. This has a spring up in there with a triple lock right there and a triple lock right there for your lift and your release. This has, it doesn't have the slow release fine spring. And instead of three locks top, three locks bottom, it's got one lock top, one lock bottom. And handles, this is piece of sheet metal painted black with a piece of rubber over it and that's actually too thick right there so two hundred bucks I think this was about thirty bucks just to give you an idea check out this little loose this little tiny box at the bottom that's just sheet metal at the bottom where this is actually cast uh, this Harbor Freight wouldn't even carry this. 
uh, it's it's garbage. So let's let's lift something. I um, let's see if it will actually lift. So it does have a lift function. I am amazed at the audacity that they have to put a picture of this up and send this. Authorized retailers of the Viking Arm are listed on Viking Arm's website. <laughs> I told you it was coming. I told you that we would do a lift challenge. You've seen what the maskaproducts.com official Viking Arm can do when we lifted Walnut Slab. Now let's see what the knockoff can do. Last time we lifted one, two, three, four, five, six of these. Let's say each one of these, lifting this half is 75 pounds. So let's start at 75 pounds. This is actually painful to squeeze. That really thin handle is not doing my hand any favors. But it did it. Let's see how we go on the letdown. I'm gonna try something different than I did with the mask and give this an advantage. I'm gonna go upside down because there I can get a flat lift on. So sure, why not do something a little different if it makes things a little better? I could have done with the, this with the mask and or not with the actual Viking arm. That's kind of anticlimactic. I am sorry, Internet. There's, there's nothing there. So what happened was, okay, a little bit of pressure on there and pump it it doesn't go I can hold that with my hand and keep that from lifting it goes through the full pump motion but it doesn't go I'm a little disappointed so a light lift this was able to work uh, but it got to the point where it would not even function if there was weight on it. So I said we could do the mask this way. I'm going to try it that way. So just in case I've ever got to inspect these again. Oh, that is much better. Here I'm able to get a square fit on that and on that. So I'm able to get much better purchase on that. That is lifting so much better. So let's see if we give these guys the benefit of the doubt and say, what if you could lift that all the way up? Well, there's the max lift on that. That's as far as it would go. The Viking arm's got another two and a half inches, three inches left to go. So, I want to see what happens when we put weight on this thing. Well, it, it held. So, it held. So let's see if, uh, I can't lift it, but it can hold it. Don't try this at home. Okay, so I'm doing the slow release. Just had all my hands in there. All right, 
right, so 75, 150, 225. So it's actually holding at 225. I don't know if you can see that, but that is no longer the right angle. That is, uh, that's starting to bend. So I have a feeling uh, I would not trust putting my hand under that thing. Can you see that? That is just nice and slowly bending. And because of that, it's, it's pushing it out. I guess it just couldn't handle it. Wow. Alrighty then, there it is. Uh, I think this competition has come to a close. I have been waiting almost two months for this package. I wonder if my credit card will give me a refund. How are these things so cheap on Amazon and on Facebook? They're garbage. At least they sent something. What is quality really worth? Why does the Viking arm cost more? Because it's an actual tool that was built well.